I often get asked what makes SEAL so unique. Well, a big part of that is how it helps you actually implement social emotional learning into the classroom. This is not your run of the mill SEL program. So today I'm gonna show you something that comes straight out of the SEAL teacher training course so you can really get a sense of how to implement social emotional learning into your classroom through SEAL. Hey everyone, my name's Elizabeth Peterson and I love helping other creative, caring teachers bring the arts into their classroom, especially through SEAL, social emotional artistic learning. And if that topic interests you, you are in the right place. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when a new video comes out because SEAL is pretty much my favorite thing to talk about. So today I'm going to talk about how to implement SEL into your classroom. And while I'm going to focus in on SEAL, you have to understand that any SEL program or method really should be following the same framework in order to work effectively in your classroom. And that's why SEAL is so effective. It is a holistic approach to teaching SEL. It's not just about the amazing integration lessons. There is an actual method to making it work for so many teachers. So let's take a closer look. This is an actual visual representation of what makes SEAL so unique. It is the three waves of SEAL. So up at the top, you've got the first wave, which is the SEAL teacher mindset. In the second wave, you have the SEAL teacher methods. And the third wave is the SEAL integrations. So up here in that first wave where we begin our SEAL teacher training courses, this is where you look at what it really means to become a SEAL teacher. So there are actions you do, and we look at the actions that you do as a SEAL teacher for your students and for yourself. So there's a big component of creative teacher self-care in this first wave. And then we also look at actually understanding what SEAL truly is and how it works, how it, how the arts actually do integrate with all the social emotional competencies. And then we look at these two foundations of every SEAL teacher, the three C's of a SEAL teacher, which is another video you can check out. I'll put a card in the video for you to look at. And also um, the concept of your starfish. When we look at wave two, the SEAL teacher methods, there are four streams or ways that um, SEAL can be placed into your classroom and your schedule. So there are embedded SEAL strategies, things that happen in your classroom day after day um, in all different art forms. We have consistent practice. Those are things that you can schedule in whatever kind of works for you in terms of your schedule and your students' needs. That can be something that's done weekly or monthly or even quarterly, depending on what you need. Um, and then there are the larger SEAL lessons, the integrated lessons that are a little bit more in-depth and really can help students focus in on a certain competency or even a certain art form. And then we have SEAL Club, which is a way of targeting students who really need some specific social emotional skill development and um, would really truly benefit from a smaller targeted group with the arts. And then we have our final wave of SEAL integrations. And this is where we look at the self competencies of self awareness and self management, the social competencies of social awareness and relationship skills, and of course the competency of responsible decision making and how all of those competencies really truly integrate and we look at lessons and activities that do this with dance, music, drama, and visual art. And throughout this whole framework, this is how we truly get to teach SEAL effectively in the classroom. SEAL's path is clear. 
first you gotta get into the right mindset and discover what it really means to be a SEAL teacher and explore the power that SEAL can have in your classroom. Second, it's about setting up the methods. There are so many ways that you can implement SEAL into your teaching. And inside SEAL, you will uncover what works best for your students, for your teaching style, and for your schedule. And thirdly, it's about implementing the integrations that work. You will take part in so many activities in visual art, music, dance, and drama that integrate into all of CASEL's social emotional competencies so that you can fully engage your own students into the lessons that will benefit them the most. And you know what you'll get? You'll get students smiling as they connect and they work with their peers. You'll get a sense of calm and creativity in your classroom that allows your students to feel safe and at ease to learn and even to take some risks. And you'll have that unique confidence that comes with being a SEAL teacher where you know that you are truly making a difference in your students' lives every single day. So are you ready to learn even more? <laughs> I really hope so. So go ahead, I want you to register for my free workshop. It's called The Three Secrets to Integrating the Arts with SEL, where I'm gonna show you some wonderful SEAL strategies that will get you started right away. I'll put the link in the description. And I can't wait to see you inside the workshop.